Vodka is made from potatoes. Potatoes are vegetables. Vodka is a salad. Today, I'm going to recap a 2015 action comedy film called Spy Time. In the middle of the desert, the car belonging to a secret agent, codenamed Anacleto, breaks down, meaning the spy has to walk the rest of the way to a hidden prison where all the criminals he's caught in his life are kept. His objective is his arch-nemesis Vasquez, who has been there for 30 years, and now he'll be moved to a different prison so he can spend his remaining 20. Anacleto's mission is to oversee the transfer and prevent any trouble. Still during the trip, Vasquez mentions Anacleto's son and implies he'll go after him for revenge, causing Anacleto to lose his temper. Before the spy can do anything stupid, a pair of mysterious men shoot at the van with a bazooka and make it crash. Anacleto's body receives quite a shake, and he can barely move when the vehicle lands, so he can't do anything when the mysterious men, who turn out to be Vazk's sidekicks, Butcher and Molecule, help his boss to escape. Vazk knocks Anacleto out before leaving, promising revenge. In the city, Anacleto's son, Adolfo, works as a night guard with his best friend Martin at an electronics store. Both of them are in their 30s but haven't achieved anything in life, going through the same boring daily routine to survive. Every morning, Adolfo is picked up by his girlfriend, Kathia, who is also Martin's sister and works as a doctor. She never gets to play music or even share her day with her boyfriend because Adolfo wants to sleep as soon as he enters the car, yet he also refuses to get a driving license and save Kathia the trouble of doing this chore and letting her rest too. All Adolfo does is work, sleep, and watch TV, and Kathia is tired of this boring life, not to mention the constant arguments about driving. Finally giving up, Kathia stops the car and breaks up with Adolfo, explaining she wants a life with more adventure and excitement, and that's why she's moving to India in a week. Adolfo is left in the middle of the street and tries to call his father for help, thinking he's at the family's old farm because he's never known Anacleto is a spy. Unfortunately, Anacleto is still in the desert, and his phone is destroyed when he's found by a pair of freedom fighters that try to kill him. Still, these men aren't good enough to defeat the best spy in Spain, and Anacleto quickly knocks them out before stealing their jeep. Then he calls his agency's headquarters to speak to the boss and ask for backup, but there's even more bad news for him. The agency hasn't had enough budget for a while, so they can't send a helicopter or close the borders to stop Vasquez. Anacleto will have to return on his own, but the boss promises to at least send two agents to keep an eye on Adolfo. Speaking of Adolfo, in the evening, he's dragged to a bar by Martin to try to cheer him up, to no avail. When they discover that Kathia is also at that bar, Martin decides to confront her about the breakup to defend his friend, and begins an argument that ends with the siblings fighting, like they used to do as kids. A bouncer immediately notices and comes to pull them apart, but Kathia hits him where it hurts the most and runs away with Adolfo. That fight has been exactly the kind of excitement she's been looking for, and her victory has put her in such a good mood that she drags Adolfo to his apartment so they can spend the night together. The two agents sent by the boss follow the couple and park outside to keep an eye on things, but they miss the fact they're being followed as well, and they get killed as soon as they're distracted. Meanwhile, Anacleto is trying to cuddle Kathia after their little fun is done, but Kathia pushes him away because this isn't a sign of getting back together. She just wants them to have a proper goodbye. Disappointed and crying, Adolfo goes to sleep on the couch and gets to see how a burly Asian man breaks into his apartment, but he's not a thief, as Adolfo thinks. He's an assassin. A fight begins between the two men, and while Adolfo is scared, he unconsciously defends himself with quite a skill, allowing him to avoid death even if he still hits a couple of times. Both of them use any object they find around and end up taking the fight to the bathroom, where Adolfo grabs the assassin and smashes him through the window, killing him without meaning to. Panicking and feeling guilty over what he just did, Adolfo goes to Kathia to try to tell her to call the police. But at that moment, a mysterious shadow knocks him out. In the morning, Adolfo wakes up in bed with clear bruises on his face. When Kathia demands an explanation, Adolfo tells her what happened, 
but he can't prove it because somehow the apartment is magically clean and the body is gone. Kathia doesn't believe him and thinks he made the bruises himself for pity, making her double down on their breakup. Adolfo leaves the apartment wondering what to do next and is surprised to find his father waiting for him in his old van. Anacleto is using his civilian cover that presents him as a meat producer, but it was him who cleaned the apartment and hid the body in the back of the van. He offers his son to come to lick his wounds in his old family home as a sneaky way to keep him safe, and Adolfo accepts, so they drive all the way to the countryside where their old farmhouse still stands like the old times. Even their old dog Sapristi is still around. As soon as they arrive, though, Adolfo hides in his room, refusing to spend time with his father. At least, Anacleto gets some privacy to call the boss and confirm they're fine, but barely a few minutes pass before he finds more assassins coming after them. The first one he finds hiding in a tree, and a fierce battle begins using any farming tools available, including a gun Anacleto had hidden inside his cow. Eventually, they can't stop the fight from moving inside the house, where Anacleto tries his best to keep the secret from Adolfo by hiding the assassin in the kitchen. Still, Adolfo keeps coming back to look for snacks that don't have nuts in them, because he's allergic, and ends up finding his father putting the assassin in the meat grinder. Seeing he has no other choice, Anacleto finally confesses he's a secret agent, and Adolfo doesn't take it well. He understands now why he spent a lot of time alone as a kid on a boring farm, but mostly he's appalled at the fact his father kills people with no remorse. Their argument is suddenly interrupted by the arrival of more of Vazka's henchmen, who open fire outside the house. Anakleto wastes no time and reveals his secret stash of weapons, which for some reason include gum, and shares it with Adolfo, claiming he's already been trained. As flashbacks of his childhood flood his mind, Adolfo realizes the games Anacleto put him through were actually training, explaining how he managed to unconsciously fight the assassin that had broken into his apartment. However, Adolfo still refuses to kill, and Anacleto does all the shooting himself, including throwing some gum on the floor because it's actually a bomb. All the henchmen die, without touching Anacleto or his son, but the one that ends up activating the bomb by accident is Sapristi, who dies in the explosion. Adolfo wants to go to the police, but Anacleto doesn't allow it and has to tie up his own son to put him in the van. They need to leave the farm as soon as possible, because it isn't safe anymore. On their way to the city, Anacleto confesses Adolfo's late mother had been a spy too. Meanwhile, Vaz Keys is visited by the boss, who wants his payment for betraying his best agent. When Vazquez only gives him a few bucks, because he has no money after 30 years in jail, the boss gives him 24 hours to get it, if he doesn't want consequences. A few hours later, Anacleto and Adolfo arrive at the spy agency headquarters hidden in a post office building. To Anacleto's shock, every worker is dead, apparently because of poison. They need to go to the spot assigned in case of emergencies, but when the duo makes it back to the parking lot, they find the assassins trying to leave. They immediately open fire on Anacleto, who only manages to kill one guy, before stealing a walkie-talkie from him and returning to the elevator with his son. Adolfo freaks out because he notices a bullet hit Anacleto, but Anacleto doesn't care and calls Vazquez to tell him he'll get revenge for the death of his friends. The elevator drops the duo on the roof of the building, and since the henchmen are still coming after them, they have no choice but to jump onto a truck on the streets. Adolfo surprises himself with a decent landing, but Anacleto is bleeding and getting old, so he gets even more hurt. He refuses to go to the hospital because it's dangerous, which means Adolfo has to drag him to Kathia's house to ask for her help. Kathia isn't sure if believing the secret agent's story. Still, Adolfo won't leave and her parents are getting curious, causing her to rush Adolfo and Anacleto to her room while pretending she's only with Adolfo having a good time. This makes things awkward, when Kathia needs someone to help Adolfo hold Anacleto down while she takes care of his wound and drags Martine into her room as well, making her parents think their children may be too liberal. Sometime later, after Adolfo and Martine have fallen asleep, Kathia scolds Anacleto for hiding his life from his own son, 
blaming him for making Adolfo such a boring person by keeping him on the farm. Meanwhile, Vazquez receives information about Anacleto's location and sends Butcher and Molecule after him. The next morning, Adolfo, Kathia, and Martine wake up to discover Anacleto has made breakfast and put truth serum in the orange juice to interrogate Kathia's parents. After everyone accidentally confesses some embarrassing secrets, the mother admits she's been selling information to Vazquez for two years and that the henchmen are on their way to the apartment. The group sneaks out through the window using the fire escape, and while Anacleto stays back to open fire on the enemy, Martine, Adolfo, and Kathia run away. Sadly, Martine isn't fast enough and is left behind, but the henchmen leave him alone anyway because they want Adolfo and corner him inside a mall. Adolfo manages to offer a good fight with the techniques his father taught him, but no fist can be enough to stop Molecule's taser that knocks Adolfo down while Butcher captures Kathia. The couple is taken to Vazka's hideout, where he hurts Katie's eye to make Adolfo confess, where he agrees to meet with his father. The meeting point is the train station, where Anacleto and Martin meet with Himeno, an agent that works undercover as a hobo and gets them in contact with the boss, who is still alive. However, Anacleto has played cards with the boss many times and recognizes his lying face, so he shoots him when he guesses he's been working with Vasquez all along, including having given Molecule and Butcher the van route for the prison break. This is because he knew the agency would be closed soon, over the lack of budget, and he wanted to create a mission big enough to show they were needed. The boss doesn't lie when he says he doesn't know where Adolfo is. Thus, Anacleto leaves him under Himno's watch, while he retrieves some hidden guns that he shares with Martin, who accidentally shoots his own foot. Suddenly, civilians begin running out of the station in fear when they see the arrival of Kathia and Adolfo, who are tied together by a bomb. A kid approaches Anacleto to give him a phone sent by Vazquez, who explains the only way to disable the bomb is to stop Adolfo's heart. Touching anything will just make it explode faster. The police send a bomb squad, but they can't find a solution, so Anacleto asks everyone to leave to have a moment alone with his son. As they reminisce about the old days together, Anacleto confesses he hasn't been this scared since his late wife had an allergic reaction to nuts, because there was nothing he could do against that, unlike actual villains he can punch. This memory gives him an idea. Thus, Anacleto rushes to get some peanuts from a machine and an epinephrine injection from the emergency team. The plan is to give Adolfo an anaphylactic shock to make his heart stop, get rid of the bomb, and bring him back with the injection and CPR. Adolfo is terrified but goes for it, and once the bomb is off, the combined efforts of Kathia and Anacleto bring him back to life safely. Although the mission isn't over, Anacleto is sure Vazquez is still in the building, and he's right. He's been dressed up as part of the bomb squad. He chases after his enemy without hesitation, and Adolfo decides to go with him to help, since he's hurt, receiving a kiss from Kathia for good luck. Anacleto and Adolfo find the bad guys in the parking lot, where Vazquez tries to hide in a car while Molecule opens fire. This time, Adolfo doesn't doubt and kills him without remorse. Butcher is coming after them too, so Anacleta sneaks into the guard's office to grab a bunch of car keys and use the buttons to open the doors to random vehicles from afar, effectively tricking Butcher into shooting away from them. Unfortunately, Butcher sees him anyway when he turns around and manages to land a bullet on Anacleto, causing Adolfo to drag his father into a car and ask him to teach him to drive on the spot. Adolfo is a terrible driver that doesn't know what he's doing, but at least this clumsiness ends with him accidentally smashing Butcher against a wall. At that moment, Viquis shows up in a van and drives towards them with the intent to kill, so Anacleto gets off the car pretty quickly, but Adolfo's seatbelt is stuck. Desperate to save his son, Anacleto cuts the seatbelt with a bullet and pushes Adolfo out, getting hit by the van himself instead. Crying, Adolfo cradles his father in his arms as Anacleto says his last words. He apologizes for the poor childhood he had to offer, and tells Adolfo he's proud of him. Vasquez is still alive and running out of the parking lot. 
Thus, Adolfo grabs Ana Coletto's gun and goes after him. He pretends to get lost in a corridor, prompting Vazquez to approach him from behind, thinking he's won, but this is all a trick to make him step onto explosive gum. The explosion kills Vazquez, but Adolfo moves away just in time. Sometime later, Adolfo buries Ana Coletto on the farm with the help of his friends and says goodbye to him with heartful words. Afterward, Adolfo tells Kathia that this adventure has made him understand she was right and that he wants excitement in his life too, but she admits that it was the opposite for her. Kathia has had enough scares to last her a lifetime and now wants a quiet life at home. This means she still doesn't want to get back together with him. Finding himself with an open the door to start a new life, Anak Leda restarts the spy agency with Martine as the new boss in the office. Taking his father's codename, Adolfo becomes the new Anacleto and fights crime, starting by going to the desert to find the freedom fighters that attacked his dad back then. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.